Generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungar. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Harvey, I'm called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat. Their skulls, my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. You are all brothers and sisters to me. Do not be too familiar. Jotnar are slow to trust. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! Sotungar is keen of mind, but he does not have our hearts. We need a warrior. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls, humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. They are calling for challenges to face their champion. The fight would help them drain their caps. No guests in the kitchen! Out! Scorch, are you going to? I'm going to. 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 I'm going to.
to make the guests thirsty. Hot spices call for a cooling drink. Now how can I use this? does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this hop? Go dive in that meat. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. <laughs> Bet they won't do it. How many broken bones you see? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. I'll give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umia's hairy balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. And one, no one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Tutankhamun will open his vault. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Drink in the name of heavy. Agir, mighty friend to the Asir. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Humir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Humir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Come, give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? I should try the archery contest. No doubt they will toast my prowess if I succeed. Okay, Last time I played your game. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wasp. 
Ah, but can you do it while mead addled? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? Not so easy after supping at the brook of the cheer cup, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played. You return. Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. Try another. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful! Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. You look a bit wobbly there. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly royals like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. The cauldron is empty. I should tell Sutunga. Sutungar, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Gunnola? Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? I'm just already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable. Sense trying to change fate. What counts is how you. I wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A gift. <laughs> 